This is CG Ruthless Sports. I will be brutally honest. Ain't nothing but being brutally honest. Coming at you with another video. Yo, so let's debate about this topic. I mean, I don't know. Is it just me or is the Amado Lenore not even talk about as a nickel guy out there? Because I remember last offseason, this kid stood out. He stood out throughout the offseason. He stood out through the preseason. He stood out a couple of games before, for whatever reason, he got sidelined. So the question is, everybody was talking about him possibly replacing Quad Williams next year. And it doesn't look like he's getting talk about, like he's getting sleep on. All you hear is uh, Darquez Denard being in the mix for that starting job. Then you got guys like Samuel Womack and Cotres Knight and quite a few others before you even mention the Amado Lenore. And that's kind of crazy. Like, is he just kind of a guy that everybody's just forgetting about? Like, I think they just had this guy play at the slot. Like, he's supposed to be the guy that replaces Williams, right? If I'm mistaken, the guy is supposed to be the one that everybody's talking about. He's got the upper advantage when it comes to taking a year of learning this defense and able to learn from it. This guy was pretty much red. I mean, pretty much learning from a guy like Williams. So I'm pretty sure maybe this is a guy that you guys are falling asleep on and probably don't even know what to expect because we're not even talking about him. So maybe this is one of the sleepers. Maybe this is my dark horse uh, breakout player. I think uh, Diamelo Lenore has a chip on his shoulder. I think that the fact that he's not talked about, I think he feels disrespected. I think he's determined to take that starting job off of the Chris Denard and quite a few others because nobody's talking about him. The fact that nobody's even mentioning him, that should definitely motivate him. So if I had to pick a dark horse breakout player, it would be Diomelo Lenore because the fact that he's not talked about, the fact that he's got something to prove, and the fact that he's not even guaranteed a roster spot at this point because he's got competition. He's got a lot of younger guys competing for that job. And, and the fact that he has to compete for it and earn that shit, that's pretty much something to prove. And that's a, that's a sign of recipe of success because he has to prove it to the coaching staff that he can play the nickel spot or whatever they ask him to do because they're adding a lot of cornerback depth. So all that stuff, all that stuff from last season where he pretty much had a, a good opportunity to climb up to the depth chart next year, he has to climb up the uphill battle to even claim a spot at the roster. So I think this is a guy that's going to definitely prove everybody that he was definitely a dark horse player that can just come into the scene and maybe have a solid breakout year. Maybe he will be the guy that replaces Quan Williams' production and does it at a solid high level. Because at the end of the day, nobody's even talking about this guy. Put some respect on this guy. Seriously, man. I feel like this is a sign of disrespect. Nobody's even mentioning him. It's it's all about Dark Quiz Denard. Even Dante Johnson's getting talked about. Come on, man. And then you got Samuel Womack, Tyree Castro Fields, all the cornerbacks on the depth chart, Jason Verrett. A lot of guys are getting talked about. You're telling me that we're we're forgetting about Diamond Lenore right there, right? Are we forgetting about him? Hello? He's still on the roster. I don't know what to say. It's crazy that he's not even talked about. But mark my words, this might be our dark horse. It, it might be. So I'm just giving you guys the heads up. And if you look into this video down the season, I'll tell you what, he might break out. He might be our starter. So mark my words, he might be just saying, maybe, but get back to me. But let me know in the comments. As always, CG Ruthless Sports is out and you already know. Go Niners.